Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Walking. I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be going over the Mana Spiral for a guy Alexa just came out, as well as the requirement for the Trials of the Mighty. Because the last time I didn't look at it for Nurse Eileen, and then when I looked at it, I said, What is this? <laughs> this is terrible! So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can always leave a like, comment about, tell me how you feel about any of the things mentioned here, and you can subscribe to me for more stuff. Let's get into it. So here we have Gal Alex. Uh, I don't, you know, there's only two. There's a, no, there's three. Gala Shadow. I was about to say I completely forgot about Gala Shell. Um, there are three Gala Adventurer units, and of the three, I really do think. Leo needed it way more than Gala Alex. Um, Gala Alex is still pretty damn good. Um, so it was a very interesting. It's kind of weird. Like, the idea of them giving one to Gala Alex just feels, I don't know, preemptive. And I think it's kind of. I guess the idea is Gala Alex will always stay good from here on out. But if there is never a dip, a dip in quality similar to Gala Cleo, then Gala Alex is just going to be kind of. She's gonna have to wait till they decide to buff everyone again, and who knows when that will be, but it was an interesting choice. I think it would have been better to save it for when there was more Gala Adventure Shadow units that you could use, or more Gala Sword units you could use, honestly, but that's their choice. So let's go. Crisis Edge uh, deals damage to the target and reduces their defenses. After using the skill or upon using Umbral Eraser, when the target has a buff or is in break state, for a set period of time, it will be possible to, to trigger a skill chain if Crisis Edge is activated. Crisis Edge is activated during the skill chain window. A variant with different effects will be used instead, and it will deal bonus damage if the attack connects. Bonus 200 <laughs> bonus damage 202 over three hits. Skill energy required 1,229. Yeah, 1,129. No wait, 1,129. Special effects, defense minus 5%, last 15 seconds, does not stack. During skill chain, 202 over 3 hits, damage 485, 1 hit, skill energy required, the same. Damage modifier, 110% against enemies with reduced defense. During skill chain, plus enemy is buffed, damage is 202 on 3 hits, 495 on 1 hit, and skill energy required is the same, special effects dispels their buffs. Damage modifier 104% against enemies with reduced defense. During skill chain, enemy is in break state. Damage 245 over 3 hits. Damage 668 over 1 hit. Same energy is skilled. 150% against enemies in break state. Yeah, 150% damage against enemies in break state. Next we have Umbral Eraser. It deals damage to the target and inflicts poison after using the skill or upon using Crisis Edge on the target. Basically the same thing except for it's with poison. Um, it, it will trigger the skill uh, skill chain. So let's see what the changes are. Damage 553 over 1 hit. Skill energy required 1129. Poison lasts 15 seconds. Trigger, triggers every 2.9 seconds. Damages is 58.2. During skill chain, damage is 553 of what hit, damage is 442 in one hit, same skill energy required, and damage modifier is 110% against poison enemies. During skill chain, a plus enemy is buffed, 553 over one hit, 452 over one hit, skill energy required the same, special effect dispels buffs, damage modifier 104% against poison enemies. And during skill chain plus enemies and break state damage is 658 over 2 hits. Skill energy required is the same and damage mod damage. I almost <laughs> got through all of that without a uh, mess up. Damage modifier 150% against enemies in break state. So, looks like all they did was just make her slightly stronger. <laughs> the skills are the same, honestly. Um, they are as confusing to read. The funny thing is, is that once you actually get to know Gal Alex, you understand, like, okay, this is what I have to actually do. But when you look at it in writing, it's so confusing. When in actuality, it's like, just play. Just play. <laughs> just, just play the damn game. Um, but yeah, it just looks like it's stronger, so that's good. Let's see, now let's go to co-op ability. Same, Dragon Haste, 15%. Chain co-op ability, Shadow Poison users equal strength, 13%. Abilities, Liberated Assassin. 
Liberator Assassin. Increases damage to enemies with reduced defense by 30%. Also grants Alex a strength amp with a maximum team amp level of 3. When she reduces enemy defense. <laughs> I was about to say, this was about to be the world's greatest strength amp until I read. After this amp is granted, the ability will not grant it again for 30 seconds. There you go. God, this is such a bad addition. I know why they're adding it, because they don't want things to go crazy. But let me tell you right now. Eventually... Strength Amp is going to go crazy, and all the units that have this specific effect are just going to seem so dumb as to why they have them. At least that's what I think. I don't know how long that will take, maybe a year, maybe two years, but eventually the 30 seconds is going to need to be taken away or reduced to like 10 seconds or something. And probably not now, but eventually it will be. That's my current thoughts on it. Guardian Shadow 3. Everything else looks fantastic, though. Guardian Shadow 3 reduces susceptibility to blindness and paralysis by 100%. When she is hit by either of them, increase the, her strength by 15% for 10 seconds. This increase will not stack, and it won't activate again after 15 seconds. Sure, just like every other galley unit. Poison Punisher and Poison Edge 1. Increases the chances of inflicting poison by 30% and increases damage to poison enemies by 30%. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure the the chance to inflict was added, and that's that's fantastic. Um, it's a good addition. Obviously, okay, so that's Gal Alex. Not much changed. Gal Alex already strong. Already strong. Will continue to be strong. Nothing is changing in terms of that. Um, I mean, it'd be funny if it turns out when we actually test her, it's like, actually, no, she's actually she's weaker now. I'm like, what? That's crazy. They gave her the Halloween LED treatment? It's like, yeah. Um, she seems perfectly fine, though. So now let's actually look at her Trial of the Mighty, which is against the Chthonius that was used by, uh, Alberius, I think? That's what it looks like to me. It's been a very long time since I've seen this specific dragon. Uh, standard is 15,000, 20,000, and 38,000, sure. Um, eligible elements and weapon types, light sword, lance, and staff. That is so much easier compared to freaking wind. There, you should have so many more light units that are sword, lance, or staff compared to wind's requirements, which were, uh, spear, mana caster and staff. I don't know who the hell smartass. There's someone out there who is extremely salty on the Dragalia Lost Dev team that Hokeems, the mana caster for win, only function so far was to be used as the shared skill. And they were like, watch me. I'm gonna get my boy up in, up in there. And it's like, well, who are you gonna pair it with so that they would actually use him? Or put it up with Spear Win. Watch them. And they'll have to use him. And, um, not everyone had to use him. I used Bia, because I didn't fucking have Joheen. Anyway, that very brief tangent aside, this looks way more doable. Um, we'll see how the actual fight is. I actually thought the Trials of the Mighty for, uh, what the hell is that giant dog's name? I cannot remember his name. Um, but the previous one for Nurse Eileen, it was, uh, pretty easy, to be honest. Um... That I could beat it with the master with Pia, Halloween, Malin, and. Not Malin, it's Mini? How the hell do you pronounce her name? And actual regular Eileen and Lowen kind of speaks to, like, oh yeah, this can be beaten. You just need the actual weapons, which is actually the annoying part. The annoying part isn't that you can only use three, uh, three old units. The problem is, is that they can only use one good weapon between them, because no one's actually maximum breaking their weapon, their Agido weapon, to all the way to max, just so Pia can use it. That's insane. No one has ever done that in the history of the world. Uh, but yeah, this seems perfectly easy to me. I mean, I mean, the easier barrier to entry. The actual problem I have is... This is gonna take forever, man. The prince is like one... I need him to come back and I'll be able to finish off the prince. But in terms of like how long this takes, this takes so long. It takes so long to finish a gala using Trials of the Mighty. Um, 
I like Trials of the Mighty in terms of a fight. I think the fights are pretty cool. I like the. I actually do like the requirements. The only thing that's a bummer is that I don't think that the um, convictions need to be locked behind it. I think actually locking behind the convictions has kind of screwed over Trials of the Mighty. So if I'm being 100% honest with you, I would be doing Trials of the Mighty regardless because it gives me a multi. It gives me some Wormite. That's the reason why I keep doing Trials of the Mighty, and that's the reason why I'm going to keep doing Trials of the Mighty when it's gone. You know, some people out here saying like, oh yeah, I'm just not going to use my um, my drops for ga so I can maximize it for Gal Alex. And I'm like, you can do that? I would never do that because I want this 25 work. Give me my work. But yeah, there's obviously, you know, send some feedback. I think that's the best way of kind of fixing Charles of the Mighty. The dev teams obviously aren't... Um, they're human. They're just like us. They make mistakes. You know, it's no big deal. Just tell them, try and lead them on the right path. As politely as possible. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can always leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye-bye.